So let's focus now on the 5G network architecture and check the different nodes which are constituting the 5G network. As discussed, one of the basic concepts here is the user and the control plane separation and that we are using service-based architecture to make the architecture more scalable and flexible. We will see in the next slides what is the different functions of each network element, what are the tasks that it can perform, and what is the abbreviation of each one of them. So the 5G network elements or network functions of the 5G are listed as shown. The first one is the AOSF, Authentication Server Function. Second one, the UDM, Unified Data Management. We have the AMF, the Core Access and Mobility Management Function. SMF, Session Management Function. PCF, Policy Control Function. AF, Application Function. NRF, Network Repository Function. NSSF network slice selection function, UE user equipment, RAN is a radio access network or the radio part, UPF is a user plane function, DN is a data network, UDR unified data repository, UDSF unstructured data storage function. So first, let's see the 5G functional network elements. We will start with the user equipment, the UE. So actually, the user equipment is used to connect to the 5G network and it is not part of the network. It may be also a device, an object, or a sensor according to the application and the use case which is used for the 5G network. So the UE is a terminal that connects to the radio access network and hence to the 5G services. The UE is logically connected to both AMF for control plane and UPF functions. So the first actual part of the 5G network is the new radio, 5G new radio which is the G node B, and it is one of the biggest changes in the 5G. The G node B is equivalent to what is called node B in 3G UEMTS and the E node B in 4G LTE. The new radio is based on orthogonal frequency division multiplexing, or FDM, and the G node B handles radio communication with the 5G capable user equipment using the 5G new radio air interface. The G node B in its basic form connects to the 5G core network through the NG reference point and the reference point here means the interface. Although some types of G node B can be connected to 4G EBC instead of 5G core in case of the non-standalone deployment. The G node B performs some tasks related to the radio access management, including some examples like the radio peer control, the radio admission control, connection mobility control, and dynamic allocation of resources to the user equipments. The 5G new radio has introduced some new technologies like new air interface, massive multi input and multi output, or what is called MIMO and uplink enhancements. And those new technologies are introduced for the new radio with the target to improve the spectrum efficiency, enhance the coverage, and suppress the interference. In this concept, we will explain the Technologies of massive MIMO and the beam forming, and explain why they are one of the critical physical layer technologies in the new radio. So, actually, the massive MIMO or multi input, multi output, and the beam forming are playing an important role in improving the capacity and the coverage 
and the spectrum efficiency of the network and hence it is playing an important role to improve the user experience as we know the high frequency means that the size of the single antenna will be very small and the area for receiving the energy will also be very small and to overcome this small area on receiver side at high frequency we need to use a large number of transmission antennas which is the massive MIMO also one of the drawbacks of the millimeter wave is that the signals are easily blocked by objects and they tend to be weakened over long distance so the massive MIMO and the beam forming can help by focusing the signal in a concentrated beam that points only in the direction of the user rather than broadcasting in many directions at once then we have the AMF which is the access and management function this node handles all the signaling which is not specific to user data such as mobility and security it can handle registration connection reachability and the mobility management it also relays session management messages to the SMF which is a session management function it can perform user equipment authentication via AUSF and authorization and according to 3GPP standard the AMF support user equipments with different mobility management needs for example the idle mode user equipment reachability registration area management support of intra system and inter system mobility access authorization including a check of roaming rights and mobility management control so as you can see the amf function or network function is connected to many other network functions like the smf the aosf the radio or the ram the user equipments and the nssf